last year I tore my ciliaceous in December coming back from a little hip niggle. Um, so that's been a pretty slow rehab coming back from that. We've taken it pretty cautiously just so, um, you know, I'm not at risk of re-injuring that because that would pretty much mean my season's over. So I've been working really well um, at, with Steve Adams at N Swiss doing my strength and conditioning program. Um, if anything, that's kind of been the one thing in my training back for the past 12 months has been consistent. So I think that's going to be um, what I hope is going to get me across the line um, and running quick coming back from injury. Well, the session is a 200 metre fairly fast warm up and then a 600 metre time trial flat out. As fast as you can go. Hopefully I might get to a race in before Nationals, maybe just at Sydney on the new track and then um, other than that, Nationals will be one of my first real hit outs and then I'm hoping to um, probably go over to the States in May, where I'll, May, June, where I'll be in um, good form and hoping to run the qualifier over there. After World Juniors in 2014, I ran really well over there, placed third. I kind of went through um, a little stage where, you know, I was just a typical teenager. I was at Wesley College, which was a lot of fun, um, and just kind of moved away from the athletic scene. Um, and then come the 2015 season, I wasn't very fit, um, and I wasn't really enjoying running because I wasn't fit. I, didn't, I was a bit overweight. I didn't feel very good. Um, and I didn't run as well as I would have liked, obviously, but after that I kind of realised how much I missed being a good athlete because I love the feeling of working hard and just, you know, when you're fit and you're running well, it's just, there's no other feeling like it. And I guess after I went through those couple of months um, of realising that I really wanted to do it, I really have, um, you know, given it a good go. My I mean, obviously, apart from the injuries, training's been going pretty well and um, things have been relatively consistent. Um, and I can honestly say um, I'm really starting to feel like the athlete I was in 2014 when I ran my PB and I'm just loving every session. Um, I love how I'm feeling when I run. I just feel relaxed and it's effortless. And I guess that's the thing. I just love that feeling. It's contagious and I just want to be... Um, the best athlete that I can possibly be because I think I'm still only 19 I've got a lot of potential to improve and I just want to kind of give it everything and not leave any stone unturned so I don't have any regrets Coming into the year obviously I'm looking to try and make the Rio Olympics um, the qualifier for me isn't that unrealistic seeing it's pretty much right on my PB. Um, so obviously I'm hoping to get back into that form and run the qualifier and be there in Rio. Um, after I represented Australia at World Juniors especially, um, I just fell in love with that feeling um, of just, it's such an honour to be able to represent your country at an event like that. Um, and I also find it's those type of events where I run my best. And I guess it comes down to that fact where I want to be the best athlete I can be and get the most out of myself. And I think, you know, I, I am, I'm the kind of athlete that kind of always rises to the occasion. So I think for me, if I went over to Rio, um, I'd absolutely give it everything. And I think I'd maybe surprise myself at how well I run because I think I'd really just dig deep and. I'd just be so honoured to be there, I'd really want to do my country proud, so um, yeah, I would love to go to Rio this year, um, and like I said, I'm just trying to do all the work to make sure whatever the result is, I don't have any regrets, um, obviously priority at the moment is just staying injury free and just ticking the boxes, and I'll just continue to do that over the next few months, um, like I said, I'll probably go overseas and race in America around May, June, because I think that's when I'll be in my best form and I'll definitely be chasing the qualifier there.
Now each time you do it, you're going to keep straightening the shackles. Yeah. And you get more and more relaxed. Yeah, I'm nervous. Of course you are. I'm still young, I'm only 19, I turned 20 at the end of March, so um, I do realise I've got a lot of years still left in the sport. Um, having said that, you know, as I excelled when I was quite young, I ran um, 201 when I was only 17, I kind of had a bit of pressure put on me from a young age. Um, and I think, I think it's a good pressure because it keeps you honest, and I've certainly realised um, over the past year, you know, People will pick up on you if you're not doing the right things and I've learnt that and I've learnt that I owe it to a lot of people to really try my best and if I'm, if I'm not interested in doing that I'm not going to waste anyone's time so I think having people watching me and just excited to see how I run has been really positive for me um, but also I do find I run my best and I race my best when I go into the comp not worrying about what everyone else wants me to do but me just wanting to perform my absolute best and um, getting the best out of myself and um, I think a lot of athletes can relate to that fact that you know we don't do it I mean especially in athletics there's not a lot of money in athletics we're not doing it for the money we're doing it or the pressure that other people put on us it's we're doing it because we love it and we want to be the best athletes that we can be so I think when you just break it down like that you know you train hard you do the work you're probably going to get some great results and that's certainly what I'm hoping to do um, over the next few years and I'm hoping to have a couple of really successful years in the sport.